Hello and welcome to Punchline Quickies. I'm your comic strip critic, and this week in comics, an intelligent life after a series of gag-a-day comics, very obsessed over his new car. Taking a closer look at it, I think it was partially designed by George Jetson. In Diamond Lil, Lil channeled her inner Statler and Waldorf to troll all of her friends on Facebook. I'm just impressed that so many senior citizens use social media, but Lil is just kind of awesome like that. In Vintage Flash Gordon, Flash struggles to redirect a missile from blowing up a plant, but runs into trouble from a would-be helper. In Dustin, Dustin got to meet Calvin. At least, it could be Calvin, if you gave Calvin a haircut and some glasses. Same love of treehouses, same red and black striped shirt. I'm saying it's Calvin. In Baby Blues, we saw Baby Ren's love of her new rocking horse. She refuses to let go of it under any circumstances. In Zippy the Pinhead, there was a guest artist, Norton Nervig. As far as I could tell, he is not a real person. In other news, I still have no clue what goes on in Zippy the Pinhead. In Pooch Cafe, Pancho freaks out when he realizes that his owner-in-law is a cat person and tries to get Chaz back into the dating game to find a dog lover. And, in Heart of the City, Hart has to sit with new people at lunch. It seems like she's having a great deal of difficulty adjusting to the change. And now, the question of the week. Besides Dick Tracy and Ginger Megs, are there any other zombie strips you actually like, or at least find tolerable? And the answer is yes. A quick way to get into my good books be an adventure comic. Even though it's over 60 years old, I still love Flash Gordon. And while I don't like Prince Valiant or The Phantom quite as much, the artwork in those is still wonderful to look at. And while I can't honestly say that the Amazing Spider-Man comic is good, it is absolutely hilarious to read. Send in your questions, and until next time, I'm your comic strip critic.